Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and today we're back with some more cash game action, playing 1-2 with a $200 bind. Uh, here we open 9's big line defense, flop middle set, jack 9, 7, 2 hearts, go for bet. Get check raised pretty big. I think we'll just call here. Uh, turn, lose the king 10 now, which isn't super great, but I think we still get this in here. And yeah, not feeling thrilled. Hopefully I have like 7's or queen jack now. I guess queen jack probably doesn't raise flop very often. Heart draws. So we'll get it in as jack nine for two pair, and we're good. Nice big, big cooler there going our way. So we open eights, get three bets. Go ahead and flat here. Check ten, six, four. And then bets half hot call. Uh, two diamonds turn. Check the turn. I think we'll call turn here. Feels kind of gross though, because it does feel like I'm folding a lot of rivers here. So on this river, I might still call 10x, but I think I'd fold my pocket eights. Block a few different straight draws, 9, 8, 7, 8, diamonds as well. So, jams over. I think just because there's an over, we want to fold like all our 10x, especially when both flush draws miss. But we'll fold like the 8s here. Right, so, we got button open, 3 bet the 9s. Played about $340 effective. So, if, if we get 4 bet, I would expect it to be a little bit bigger than usual just because we're a bit deeper, but would be calling. So, yeah, we get 3 bet here. Go ahead and call. And flop a set, nice jack nine two. Ah oh, man, I'm gonna have draws. Uh, check check. We'll bet turn here. Uh, we'll go for bet turn. Calls king river. Uh, king better for his range than mine. I'm trying to think. Queen ten comes in. I think we still just jam this. But I don't think we want to jam the king super often. So my best bluff here would probably revolve around having some sort of 10, some sort of queen. If I decide to start bluffing, like, say, ace, queen of clubs or spades on the turn. Even though the flush draw would miss, we probably want to use it. So it ends up folding. Take it down with the nines. Uh, get called flop good. So we got top, top here. Start with bet. And then three spades turn. I'm going to check to check jam here. And go with the plan here and check jam. Lots and lots of draws out here. If they decide to bet king, queen, queen, jack, they'll probably call off too. So it calls 10 out of spades, 68%. And unfortunately, their combo draw, double gutter, and spades gets there. Um, Ace king suited open, get three bets. Go for the four bet here. So we see the call, ace high flop. Going 10% on flop. So we get check raised here. Just gonna call mostly, just don't want to see a diamond. And then turn two pair. So I think turn, like if I had a diamond draw, I would want to bluff jam, so we'll play a jam here as well. They just jam. We snap call as queen jack of diamonds, and we fade the combo draw. Nice. He's king good. Uh here we have a sign suit to get called, but flop. Check a turn here. Um, even gets pot size, we'll call here. And then, oof, that's a weird river. So if he goes big, I think he's just repping the four. Don't know on the turn that he's going to have a lot of King X that wants to pot the turn. So if he bets big on river, it feels like he's repping just the four here. <laughs> um, and the question is, like, what bluff is he using? I think it'd be, like, the five, six, eight, six. Uh, I'm thinking about colleagues. I don't, because he pots the turn, I don't think he has a ton of King X. I don't think he's going to want a pot turn with a lot of king x. So it's basically just saying he has a four. And then he's not going to value bet a flush, and it doesn't matter because we beat that anyways. Um, he could value bet sevens full. Decide not to raise that on the flop. I think I'm going to make a really sticky call here. Uh, it does have the four, so. And again, in these spots where it's like he just is repping the four, and there's only one of them left in the deck, I'm like, ugh. I don't love it, but I think call. If we beat any of his hands that are betting that aren't the four. All right, so open king, queen suited, small blind, three bets. Go ahead and flat here. Flop the king. So bet from hunter here, call. Take the turn, three spades turn. Shucks to me, we'll go half pot turn. 
All right, call it off. King Jack hold. Nice. All right, nice cooler there. Three bet pot. So we open button, small mind flats, bet flop, they lead into me on the turn. Um, let's see here. I don't want to action kill a turn. I think they're gonna have some more jack X. I'm gonna this is not really a balanced size. I'm gonna raise small so their draw is potentially still call. And then we also maybe get their jack X to go kind of nuts. And then river nine. I think at this point we just go really polar trying to target the flushes. At this point. And then just realize he's gonna fold his jack X probably quite a bit. Calls jack 10 though, so sevens full is good. Uh, open button here, big blind three bets. We call Jack eight three. All right, bet small float one. Turn the ace here. So I think if they bet here, we would have some jams on the ace. I think we'd mostly just want to do if there's like flush draws though, because uh, we'd have some combo draws that want to jam. Whereas here we won't have as many. And then gonna go small turn here. And then I think jam most rivers. If they decide to do the check jam, we call. And then eight river. I don't imagine they have a ton of eight X here. Check calling the turn even against small size. And then we do beat like their ace five, ace four, ace 10. That's all likely to call down. So I think this is gonna be a jam for value. It's probably about as thin as I would, probably the thinnest I would go. So we'll go for the jam here. Hope they have like that ace five, ace four type stuff here. So my best bluffs would be if I had like 10, nine, I'd probably turn that into a bluff here. Uh, some queen 10 potentially. So we jam as queen jack and we're good. Nice, good pick up there. Great turn card. Uh, here we open, it's a cutoff open with this player sitting out. Button three bets, we four bet. Just calls, so we fought pretty well here. So bet quarter pot. Ball's really bad turn here. So jacks, king jack, hearts. Uh, man, am I too big of a nit to want to full by river if he goes bet turn jam river, even on a brick? It's just such a bad turn card. I mean, a four bet pod I'm probably just supposed to call down, but like I said, jack's really, really bad. So we'll call one here, but uh, 10 river, oh boy. I mean, he's not, I'm actually considering folding this one. It's not that big of a jam. Um, I mean, this is super nitty to fold, but like we don't beat a single value. Like if he has king queen here, he's not jamming unless it's king queen of hearts. And I know it's a four bat pot where we have top pair, top kicker, but the jack's just so bad because he's gonna have king jack, pocket jacks is played. Um, probably doesn't have tens, so I was worried about that. King 10, I don't know that he bets the turn. Maybe he decides to start turning tens with a heart and a bluff on the river. That's the way he could have tens, I don't know. Um, man, Ace King's so tight to fold here, but I think we're gonna make a pretty big fold there. Pretty unfortunate after that good of a flop. So open aces, two calls here. Queen seven six, two hearts go for bet, and then oh, bad turn. I think we check the turn. Top card pairing. Uh, champs, jeez. I feel like we just have to call and hope it's a draw enough, but sometimes it's scary that they're just like trying to fade the draws. There's Jack 10 for the bluff. We're good. Got him drawn dead. Nice. So we get called flop top pair. Uh, turn, I think a lot of times on the nine and four check here. And just check call. River ace. Um, I don't think he has much ace axe. I guess I'd worry, worry about the spade and the four, obviously. That's river. I'm trying to think if I ever have some like sick jams here as a bluff. Trying because I'll just have more boats than him. I would play the boats exactly this way too, actually. I don't know if I want to have a spade or not. Alright, I'm bluffing all in. Snap folds, get the bluff through. So we open, get three bet flat here, flop the set, nice. Uh, we'll be check raising here, so I'll be mostly using my pocket tens, my ace 10, king queen of spades, king jack of spades, queen jack of spades, a lot of that kind of stuff here. So we'll check raise small. See the call four on the turn. So half pot turn. Uh, it's obviously a bad river. 
text down, we're good. And get versus Ace Jack. All right, blind versus blind here, we get three bet, call the nines. Interesting flop here, so I flopped the over pair with the open ender. Uh, I'm trying to think if I check raise or just call here. Probably check raise. So we'll go for check raise. Once we do this, obviously to call off if they jam. Snap calls. Uh, second flusher on the turn here. Check. And then. Uh, so I mean, he's definitely gonna have the over pairs here. We block straight draws. There's two different flush draws. So I think with the flush draws we called, then obviously we can have outs as well for behinds. But it was a three bet pot pre. As ace five of spades, we got 68%, and we do hold nice. So they had the combo draw. We're good. All right, YouTube, that ends a massive 200 NL session here today. So we played for seven hours, 300 or 3,156 hands, plus $2,469, plus 12 buy ins. Brand super hot today, huge session. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and the hands as much as I did. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch the live streams on Twitch, I have linked to my Twitch channel in the description below.